All right. <coughs> Spike Chun Soft. I always wonder if that was like after Chun Li or something, or is that, or is Spike Chun Soft like a Chinese company? Maybe it's short for it, Chuni Bio. That sounds that about be, accurate for this game. Yeah, <laughs> Is this game about Chunibyo? Yes. That's all okay. I know about it, by the way. Now that's all I know about it. It is a Chuni game. There's a lot of porn of this game. Like, it... So, what I understand about this game is that it is like Ace Attorney, but there's way more porn of it. Oh, well, it's a very okay. sexy game. Yeah. Oh, shit. There are difficulty settings? Yeah, that's gonna... I don't... Brewer, what do you think? You're the only one who has any experience. I'd, I would I would say just leave it on normal. All right. I have no idea how you would do a Ace Attorney-style game with difficulty settings, but these are like the difficulty settings for Silent Hill. Oh, look at that. Oh, I recognize that animation style from somewhere. So how common are pedo bear memes about this bear? I don't exactly follow Danganronpa memes. Fair enough. Oh no. He did the murder. Yep, case solved. Game over. The the massive high school towers all over the other their buildings in this bustling. Oh, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Wrong emphasis there. I was really hoping there was a high school that had massive towers. It was going to be sick. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. So I'm going to adjust this window placement just a little bit. How do I... Sort of. Can't move the window. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. Government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Shame for all the murders. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Hey, I guess I can do him. He had a wussy voice. <laughs> well, he is the main character. Oh, God. 
he's one of those main characters. As, uh, let's see, what's the voice? As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. I'm like a living blank slate. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, I have... If I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get every get ready for today. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Oh boy, how old is this messenger? Oh, 2010. There we go. Yeah. It's such a popular at, topic. At least 11 years. Hell yeah. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high school student. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who also is the lead singer of a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's the only one who gets a scrolling screen. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Blonde haired and blue eyed. The ideal Aryan ideal. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. That's why the government wants to put him in this school. <laughs> On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who couldn't find I couldn't find any info on, no matter how hard I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? And he has a lot to say. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Because he's the ultimate <laughs> average. The he's, most average person ever. He's true normal, like that girl from yeah. Zetsubo Sensei. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance layer they sent me to see why. Oh. Oh. We recently held a lottery. 
We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us at the as the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> they spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Oh my god, it's... Oh, shit. Uh, Tenchi, uh... Protagonist whose power is luck. Even though he's bad luck. <laughs> Sena. Jesus. Yeah, Sena. He rem he's a lot like Sena, kind of wussy and <laughs> luck-based. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I'm gonna have so many girls falling on my dick. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve to join the galaxy police. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at their acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It's not in his hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before and I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. Also, it keeps changing from white to blue text, and I don't know why. Is he saying those parts out loud? I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that will help calm me down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. The perspective of his inner monologue seems to change a bit, or the tense, I guess. Right, because the part of him is him talking about the past, I guess, after the events of the story, or at some point later in the story. That and may be. just a present tense. I'm, I'm guessing the blue text is narration and white text is speech. Hmm. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Ah! The spin filter! Liquify! But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted, and I woke up in another world. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. The spin tool in Liquify, it, uh, they just did that. And the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began. My life in another world. How my life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair. Prologue. Hmm. <sighs> yeah? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels... heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What am I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? 
Ooh. Yeah, basic controls. <laughs> uh, someone else take tutorials, please. <laughs> Let my voice rest Welcome a bit. To Hope. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the A button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or the L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, hey, new kid. Day. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide? <laughs> it's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten onto it. The thing I wrote, <laughs> I said just a moment ago. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Ooh, 3D. Uh, I don't like that. Perspective on those screws is weird. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Hey, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Same with the metal plates on the windows, I'm sure. Wait, ah. What's the time on the clock say? It's obscured by the light. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. I'd feel really lucky if I woke up after just an hour. Was it... Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. What might have happened is... I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside of Hope's Peak! I mean, that would have been the first thing I'd assume. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows? It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. There you go. Oh. As Pokemon... Oh, I can see. You can do the camera with the right stick and this with the left stick. Leave, leave the, area. the area? Oh, thank you. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Also, you can press the Y button to bring up a map. Press the Y button again to close the map. How convenient. Oh my God, Cat tank B controls. To roll. <laughs> this game has tank controls. Left bumper to shield. Left trigger to parry. Oh no, those uh, left bumper and right bumper are strafe. Hmm. The AV room. It's locked. It's like the one room in every school that was like always locked. There's actually valuable equipment there. The school store. I guess it's not open. 
crime scene, apparently. This... This has a very 90s Japanese PC game aesthetic with the uh, flat textures uh, popping out like 3D geometry. Oh, what the fuck kind of, Oh, why does the nurse have, like, sensual hearts on her door? What makes... The nurse is What makes what? Those hearts sensual. Well, because the door is pink and the hearts are a lighter shade of pink. So that makes it not like a health symbol at all. The nurse's office. Off limits, it looks like. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Okay, so the fat nerd should have a way more bo bassy voice than that, but I'm betting that's his voice. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming up from each of them. <gasps> um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nagi. Uh, am I pronouncing that right, by the way? Good enough. Okay. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Huh? Whoa! You too? Ah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Ryan, do you, like, have a girl voice? No. I have a man's voice. Can you try? All of us do. <laughs> Can you try, though? No, oh, well... Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Uh, this guy is going. Moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Oh my God, so many girls. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of characters in this game. Yeah. Plus 15? <laughs> uh. Uh, I've already forgotten the ones that have been introduced so far. <laughs> they haven't had any names yet. <laughs> uh, okay. Should we, should we like, Go through the list of characters and assign roles. Uh, yeah, actually, that might be a good idea. Two hours later. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around the room and introduce ourselves? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright. The hell? Now's no time for friggin' instructions. <laughs> Introductions. Introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good at least to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good That's point. That's a good point. Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. Uh... Okay. So let's get introductions out of the way, then. 
then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim a no. Oh. Um, aim at a student and press the A button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. So just remember, green text is yours. Uh. Oh my god, the suspense. The Sus choice is yours. Who will you choose? I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Kiyotaka Let's work together on our educational the crusade. Yes, what my voice line said. <laughs> ultimate, mor ultimate moral compass. So that's K Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless student. He's also known for the work he's done with the community's public, for the community's public's public morals committee. That's really hard to say. The community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. To sumo. <laughs> Got it. To sumo. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Ultimate pop sensation, Saika Maizono. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Saiko Maizono, I am smelling her. Whenever I hear her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous across all the country, we covered this very recently. In fact, she's their lead singer. I kind of want to get to know the uh, girl on the far right. She seems fun. <laughs> As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. She'd only be in higher demand if she was virtual. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she's been going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but we were, <laughs> we were childhood friends. Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. She Creep. looks the most Japanese and the doll thing is just a common Japanese thing. But wow, her forehead is big like a 90s anime character. <laughs> I'm not a doll. You know, I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, uh, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on. Please, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry, I got carried away, I guess. <laughs> you hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. See what I did there? Idle chit-chat? Uh, I don't this guy's get it. kind of annoying. <laughs> Sorry, Makoto. This guy's kind of annoying. He 
can talk about this later because if we have to put it off for some reason. It sounded like Sakia really had something she wanted to say. I think she's my OTP, but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Oh god, she's gonna die. <laughs> that flag, oh my yeah, god. That's a, that's a big one. <laughs> Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs at their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... Stop admiring his muscles, dude. You, seriously? Comic-Con. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured you being the ultimate baseball star, Nar. What? You were expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting... No, sorry. No, I was just expecting more of, you know, sporty-looking, traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and the picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh, man. You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. Like, so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like is like that is part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he's still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I get accepted here, I'm gonna quit baseball for good! I have my own dream for the future. A, a dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. I'm gonna need all so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. I'm Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what a piece of shit. <laughs> the ultimate fanfic creator, Hifumi Yamada. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh god, is he gonna tell me about <laughs> the superiority of 2D waifus? <laughs> A world of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am known as... I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfic comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Wait, is he a doujinshi creator in the non-localized version? <laughs> yes, they, they localized doujinshi as fanfic. <laughs> Which is the worst thing. Oh, the cringe. <laughs> Feel free to replace it. <laughs> uh, some of them didn't get it. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... <laughs> The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. But you sold 10,000 copies. Yeah, Van Gogh never did that. No. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about doujinshi. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. 
My work is filled with deepest meaning. Uh, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing your basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. I'll be honest, I might. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate writing prodigy, Toko Fukawa. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. And then it went downhill very hard. Then two years ago, she released two li So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing, actually. Well, I guess in Japan it's less amazing, but still. Uh, despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare, you, you know? Stop heck? staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! Uh, filth, filthy creature? No, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought! I, I mean, she's right. I was you thinking thought, about emergence. You never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. Uh, uh, no, no that, that that's what not what I was thinking at all. I'm Don't you. bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you. I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. I feel like she's going to give us a TED talk about how uh, you shouldn't feel re responsible for your successes and just attribute them to a demon. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> over where? Over there. Um, oh, wait. This is... These are a different set of five people, just in the <laughs> same back. I was confused by the same background, okay. Um. Sorry, Brewer, you're gonna have to do a lot, and I'm gonna have to do a fair bit. Hi, I'm gonna take a nap. I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Junko Enoshima, ultimate fashionista. The rarity of the group. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any f high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back? With, like, computers and junk? Why did they edit out her freckles? Freckles are cute. So, they aren't real? What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of the cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'll be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. 
ultimate programmer, Chihiro Fujisaki, wearing programmer socks. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Uh, same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time. Which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. Y you don't have to apologize like that. God, she's cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. <laughs> so Japanese. Um. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um. Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? Uh, no, not at all. I, I just lost and thought about something. Programmer socks. Huh? Well, lost in thought. Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. That's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Dot, 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 dot. Good talk. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate question mark, Kyoko Kirigiri. <laughs> uh, she's uh, pretty tight lipped, huh? But, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I didn't see that there were students like me. Ones... It, oh, I did see. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. You know, like high school students. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, no, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. What should I tell you? Uh, huh? Uh, well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Uh, nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. No point in asking. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> Ultimate biker gang leader, Mondo Awada. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan, with all the flashing texts that's about to give me a seizure. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Ugh. No. Oh, that was me. Ah, uh, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. Uh, I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Shit. Hey, ya! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Ultimate Swimming Pro, Aoi Asahina. Aoi Asahina, she has been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, 
proportions has been widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. Uh, no, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Uh, she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. Uh, what are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly how it sounds. That, um, that's an obnoxious answer when Kanji <laughs> exists, right? It's seriously, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Uh, sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Oh boy. <laughs> and there's even more. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ultimate Gambler, Celestia Ludenberg. Twin Tails. Uh, Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer you call me Celeste. Uh, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? Uh, if you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. That's incredible superpower. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch out, watch myself around her. Name's Byakuya Togami. Ultimate Affluent Progeny? <laughs> Byakuya? Uh, hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the Ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread online. Come on. Done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate Clairvoyant, Yasuhiro Hagagure. Yasuhiro Haga Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting Ultimate Clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff, but it's pretty much beyond me. 
Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay. I give up. Uh, uh, huh? What happened? For serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Uh, saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. Did I read that right? <laughs> you did. <laughs> and that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. Uh, we're underage. We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet it is a long story. I am Sakura Ogami. <laughs> Ultimate martial artist, Sakura Ogami. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. They say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl and Japanese. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 mat matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is what Assholes. <laughs> Any incoming uh, Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, uh, yes. I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Uh, uh, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right about that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. hmm what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I, uh, I'm not sure that's a shame for me. And with that, all the introductions are done. Wow, there were a lot. <laughs> Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, uh, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's, that's true. I, I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Uh, well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just... asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. Uh, what? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to... We were somewhere here in this school. That's what happened to you, right? Uh, but but that's just weird. That every one of us get knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! That's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? That's all my stuff is missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere. Either. And then there's the main hole there. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck is going on? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something? Is it like... 
Uh, like, what's like, what, like, a uh, kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Well, if that's all it is, uh, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. Uh, I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Ryan, screen text. I'm kidding. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so placeful. Playful. So completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Oopy. Eh. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey! What are you gonna just take off like that? Could it be? Yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder why they have planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? W wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> this is that then, I will, s uh, that is that then, I will see you all there. N not that anyone cares, but uh, I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym. I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my ha mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. Uh, <laughs> this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Baby. Just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we will learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Uh, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? <laughs> 